Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Leech. Leech here is a programmable multifunction module which uses Rebel Technology OWL platform. This is a Bifaco Rebel collaboration that brings OWL's platform into a new hardware iteration. The Leech module has stereo in and stereo out. It also has four pot controls summed to CV inputs and in addition has CV and gate outputs. You can also select the patches with this knob and it has USB MIDI and host device connections. Leech here comes preloaded with four patches, a reverb, tap tempo delay, harmonic oscillator, and MIDI to CV interface. The module can also be programmed to form many other interesting functions by loading in more from OWL patches. You can also create your own patches. I'll have a link down below in the description for the OWL patch library and where you can upload your different patches to your module. So when you first turn on the module, your first algorithm is going to be a silky reverb. I'll read the description to you guys. Reverb algorithm with several delay lines in a feedback matrix written by Robert Bristow Johnson and based on the published work of Jean-Marc Jot. Digital delay networks for designing artificial reverberators. This can be described as a lush reverb that can provide from clean reverberations to outer space-like textures. So the first patch here I have Beehive, which is off screen, which is a Platts clone. It's just going into this nice lush reverb. This is the dry signal. So on the module, A here is going to be the size of the room of the reverb. <clears throat> B is going to be your uh, decay of the reverb. C is like a filter and D is your dry wet signal. So let's turn in a little more wetness. button here is going to be your pre-delay that you can tap in. And if you want to set that back to zero, the button right next to it resets it. Also when you tap this in, you have a gate out signal that's going to go out also from this output. Then you have CV1, CV2 out, and this is also CV following the reverb. Kind of like an envelope follower. Nice beautiful sounding reverb. What we could do is take the CV out and let's just modulate some stuff with it. So right here you have your four attenu uh, attenuators and you have the A, CV input, B, C, and D which control all these corresponding knobs. That's pretty cool. Take the other CV out. And that's going to adjust that filter.
we're going to get into the delay mode now for Leech. And these patches are really as simple as they're going to be because really we just want to hear our Leech sounds. I mean, it's a delay, it's a reverb, and then it has some other algorithms. But for the most part, I just want to show you how it sounds. So in your delay mode here, your A knob is going to be your delay time when you don't have a clock patched in. You have your feedback knob, you have your dry wet, and then you have your tempo divide. In the middle it's one to one, left is multiplier, right is divider. Then you have your tap tempo, and then you can lock in your tempo here. In the patch here I'm just using key step and I'm clocking Pamela's new workout, which therefore is then clocking Leech here. So here's just a simple arpeggio. Take the clock out. Sorry, couldn't help myself. With Leech, you're able to connect it to your computer via USB, and you're able to test out different user-made patches. Not every single patch is going to be perfect because not every patch is made specifically for Leech, but there are some. This patch here is a bit crush I have loaded into it. You can put it into a buffer so you don't necessarily have to download it to Leech yet. So if you turn off your module, it will get rid of it. But in the meantime, you can put in the buffer and load up different ones, try out different patches and pick the ones that you like. It also shows your RAM and how much memory you have left on it. In this patch here, I have Leech in a bit crush mode and it's as simple as a dry and wet and a crush knob. I heard they recently added a little more crush to it. So anyway, <laughs> What I have going is BIA is being heavily modulated and I inverted some of the envelopes and some of the LFOs going to it to mess with the attack decay. And I also have a pitch sequence from Renee going into it. I then have Beehive uh, being modulated also, modulating the mode so it just sounds like some different snares and weird sounds going. And then also Morphogene is playing a reel that I made of just me testing on my microphone and it's just going through Mimeophone with some effects and it just sounds some, uh, some cool ambience in the background.
just want to thank Bifaco for sending me out this module. I sent them an email asking if they had anything new I could try out, make a video on, so I'm not being paid for this in any way. They sent me the module, and I don't even know if I have to send it back, so I just want to thank them again. I love all their modules. I have an instrument interface here and a collab they did with DivKid called Mutes, and I'll probably be doing some videos on those a little bit later. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching.